Radio Shack. Ro Ro Radio Shack. <laughs> All you need is Radio Shack. Anyway. Hey everybody, we played a game. <laughs> I'm Sean. Oh, I'm Alex, what's up? Uh, and today we are going to start playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I've never played these games. I haven't uh, played well, that's. Either. I played a little bit of one of them. So, when I said that I never played them, that was a lie. It turns <laughs> out I lie a lot. Uh, so, I think we just dive into it, yeah? I suppose so. So we're going to be famed attorney, Phoenix Wright. Uh, Phoenix oh, Wrigley? He... Yeah, Pahonix Wrigley. Pahonix. Um, ha Hakeem Phoenix Wright. Hakeem. <laughs> His wrinkly forehead and everything. Uh, so I guess the first one is Ace Attorney. Uh, so we'll start yeah. there. All right, I'm already into this artwork. That dude has a hole in his head. Do you think he's dead? The that would be my turn, face though. if I died via a hole no. to the head. Like what's it's his our name? only option? Anton Chigurh puts a hole through my head with a air compressor. Oh, with the cow killing thing? Yeah. Whoa. I don't know how to gasp. <laughs> I've never gasped before. Damn it. Why me? I can't get caught. Not like this. I've got to find someone to pin this on. Oh, he also got shot in the head. Someone like <laughs> him. I'll make it look like he did it. Oh my god. Did we... But we oh, already so, know who did so it. So I guess it's not a secret who murdered that woman. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of strange, because, like, oh, is there it. no mystery to it? Now we just have to figure out how to catch him? Oh yeah, is it going to be, like, trying to trip, trip, trip him up in court or something? I guess. Boy, am I nervous! <laughs> Does that? <laughs> yeah, you should definitely. <laughs> he's definitely. Uh, what do you call that? Welsh or Irish? <laughs> was that what I was <laughs> accidentally doing? I was just trying to go oh, for like, were... like gleeful, like uh, optimistic, breathy. I don't know. Oh, okay. Then I misinterpreted totally. So <laughs> uh, continue. Uh, okay, I, I guess I'll take Mia. Right. No, wrong. <laughs> oh, hiya, Chief. Whew. I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. Oh, this is my first one. It says a lot about you and your client as like well. My first trial ever? <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks. It's your first trial as an ace attorney. Oh, okay. I was just a mediocre one before. Right. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. Hmm. A favor? A sexual favor. <laughs> you mean you knew the defendant before this case? <laughs> yes, we were lovers. Oh. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over! <laughs> <laughs> My life, everything, it's all over! <laughs> it's like the end Is of that... a strong bad email. <laughs> That's kind of what I was going for. Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. Death, <laughs> despair! <laughs> Oh, I think it's a character from Danganronpa. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. <laughs> it's like every day when it I get out like of bed. Sounds like he wants to die. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like every day when I get out of bed. It's the first thing I say. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. <laughs> uh, yeah. <sighs> That's a good sigh. Nick. 
<laughs> the low voice does not fit this guy at all. I love it. <laughs> hey, I already hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell them I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. I like how much he's sweating. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's wrong, Larry? Also, his shirt seems very concerned. Ooh, I like that shirt. That's pretty cool. <laughs> also, nice, we... like, orange jacket thing he's got going on. He's got a pretty good style going on. I like this guy from the moment I saw him on the on the opening. Yeah. Uh, That's... Like the banner? Or the, whatever it is. The marquee. Yeah. yeah. I, I wear my hair like that sometimes. Oh, it's all over. I'm finished. Finished. I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Ah, <laughs> oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? <laughs> Larry, it was just a car. You, you were leasing it. <laughs> hmm, the person responsible for your girlfriend's death? Wait a minute, who's Nick? Who, wait, yeah, who is Nick? <laughs> who's Nick? <laughs> oh, maybe short for Phoenix? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so they've got history, <laughs> uh, apparently. Okay, great. Oh, yeah. Moving on. Yeah, he said I owed him a favor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just breaks out. He's like, Haki Nicholas! <laughs> Please! <laughs> I guess I, I guess I'm okay with it since I could find where the name comes from. Yeah, that I, I, that makes sense. Okay. The newspapers say it was you. Objection! <laughs> hey, that's my line. <laughs> my name is Phoenix Wrigley. Here's the story. All about how. My life got my first case got flipped, turned upside down. My first case is a fairly simple one. Who spilled this ketchup? A, a young woman was killed in her apartment, and then, and then dipped in ketchup. Fell <laughs> she fell asleep in the ketchup. It was really silly. The guy it's they a arrested. New sex act called the chicken dipper. <laughs> the chicken dipper. If they're smaller than you, it's called a little dipper. <laughs> <laughs> the guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry. Yep, that's his name. Larry Butts. <laughs> My best friend since grade school. We made fun of him all the time. <laughs> Our school had a saying when something smells, it's usually the butts. It's a pretty good thing. <laughs> Probably put it on a t shirt. It's not very nice. In the Oh, wow, okay, so they've been friends a while. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He's a smelly guy. I like the sparkles in his eyes. Also, he's losing a the lot of liquid. <laughs> he's got the sparkle of innocence. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. Those are the worst kinds. That, and I own one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. And we'll find out what else I'm going to do at diners, drive-ins, in the courtroom. <laughs> and that's just what I'm going to do. Well, you sounded totally different between those two lines. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> was it that one was Guy Fieri and the other one wasn't? That's probably it, yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, we're just getting right into it. Ooh, that, ga that, gavel, that gavel is pretty quiet compared to everything else. Yeah. Court <laughs> is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. I hope that won't get too exhausting. Oh, I'm sure it will. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The uh, <laughs> defense is ready, Your Honor. Ahem. <clears throat> Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Uh, yes, Your Honor. I'm uh, a little nervous. I can tell from your pit stains. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. 
Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. I'm going to do a little less rasp in this voice to save myself trouble down the line. <laughs> Very fair. Th uh, thank you, Your Honor. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. Pick three Cheetos out of my beard. <laughs> Within ten seconds. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm neat. hand shaking, eyesight fading, knees weak, arms Mom's spaghetti. spaghetti. The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> oh, Larry Butts. Wow, this is like really simple stuff. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. The defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Because he smells. Um, yeah. Speaking of which, this courtroom smells. Did you fart? Oh, <laughs> guilty. No, it was, it's usually butts. Um, <laughs> no, I think it's good, though. Like, they start you off with some real light questions just to sort of give you an idea of, like, how much you should be paying attention. That is fair. Correct. <laughs> You're in the right room. Just keep your <laughs> wits about you and you'll do fine. Oh, the butts trial? That's next door. <laughs> this is the ass trial. <laughs> next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? I do. Uh... Phew, I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. <laughs> I'm such a fucking nerd. It's... Wait. Uh-oh. No. No way! I forgot! I'm drawing a total blank here. It's like they didn't tell me. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? <clears throat> you don't even know the victim's name? <laughs> oh, the, the victim... Uh, of course I know the victim's name. He just got too caught up looking at Mia's chest. Yeah, I was gonna say, she looks fantastic. I, um, I just forgot. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. <laughs> Look, oh, that's the victim's just Larry. name is listed in the court record. What? That's just Larry. <laughs> <laughs> the smell gives you migraines. Just press tab to check it at any time, okay? Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. <laughs> I'm begging you. All right, Baby. let's check. <laughs> no one would believe I was a defense attorney if I didn't carry this. <laughs> you just show off your attorney's badge when you go places. I got it in a Cracker Jack Sing. bag. <laughs> Time of death. 7.31, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Loss of blood due to blunt trauma. Blunt trauma. She smoked a lot of weed and then died and then fell in the ketchup. That's pretty traumatic. Right? No one should fall on ketchup. Huh. She was a model. She lived in an apartment by herself. She's only 22, poor girl. Aw. I mean, that's what happens when you try to do chicken dippers. Uh, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Winston Payne is the prosecutor for this case. He lacks presence. Generally bad at getting his point across. Alright, good to know. <laughs> Larry Bunce's smile looks like someone highlighted it in Photoshop and just rotated it like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Like it looks uh, more like alien the longer I look at it. <laughs> yeah, not, like, it looked fine when I first saw it. Now that you pointed that out, it looks very unnatural. <laughs> like, it's trying to escape from his face. <laughs> Mia Faye is a good defense attorney. Unlike us. Because we're ace defense attorneys. That's right. All right. Okay, so Cindy. Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? Cinder Block! <laughs> That's next door. Um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Uh huh. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Yeppers. Now tell me, what was the cause of death? Was it ketchup? Chicken dippers. She died because oh. she was. Could have been all three, I don't know. Why. <laughs> She was struck once by a blunt object. <laughs> 420 blazing. 
Correct, you've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't <laughs> proceed. And you have the little button that says you're a professional, so I have to let you be in here. Yeah. I mean, that's all you need. You get your attorney's license out of a box of Cracker Jacks, <laughs> and that's when you know that you've been selected. <laughs> Mom and says then, it's my turn in the courtroom. And then you have to answer the judge's questions three, and then you're a full-fledged defense attorney. Uh, that's all That's all that's needed. <laughs> What's the what's the airspeed velocity of a fully laden swallow? Uh, <laughs> African European the judge. I don't know, and he just like what? launches out of his chair <laughs> into the middle of the courtroom. There's a and lava pit it goes there. Free. Yeah, and then and then, yeah. everyone, <laughs> and then everyone goes home. <laughs> you seem much more relaxed, Mister Wright. Good for you. Good for I, you. Good for you. I have hemorrhoids today, oh. but good for you. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor, because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Well then, what's for lunch? First, a question for the prosecution. <laughs> Mr. Payne? Yes, Your Honor? As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Blink, blink, blink. Would you explain <laughs> to the court just what that object was? This man's got very intense eyebrows, by the way. Yeah, they're, they're like... They've got ridges. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker, Your Honor. It was found lying on the floor, next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it into evidence. <laughs> it looks up. Statue oh, look! added to the court record. A rectangle. <laughs> Get this out of here. Uh, it's rather heavy. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. <laughs> Did I go to law school? Or Excuse me. Take the bar? Like, I should know this stuff. <laughs> that evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Use tab to check the court record frequently. Thank you, Mia. Use tab to load your justice gun. <laughs> Fire that, that justice bullets. Yeah, I was going to say, that, that's Danganronpa right there. Mr. Payne, yeah, the prosecution may call its first witness. Can I get a witness? Wow, we're getting right into the trial here. Like, <laughs> yeah. we did. We did. Oh, uh, did you want to do research into, into the case? Because that's too bad. Yeah, we did entering into evidence uh, stuff, and then we're just <laughs> straight into calling witnesses. Whew, all right. We didn't even do jury selection. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. <laughs> We decided that for the jury, it would be best if we did it like last week tonight, invites people on their shows. They just stand outside the courtroom and hand out 12 tickets to whoever walks by. Uh, Chief, what do I do now? Are you, are you serious? What do I do now? Phoenix. Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh-oh. Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. And when he gets excited, he's tooting all over the courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> Ahem. Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy! That's not the voice I was doing, was it? It was pretty deep. I was doing, like, strong bad. Yeah. Hey, watch it, buddy. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. Uh, didn't they all die? I wasn't dumped. She just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me. Ever. <laughs> fucking eye <laughs> twitch. <is> twitching. <laughs> Everything's fine. What's it to you anyway? Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. <laughs> she had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. Let the court record show mean? Larry Butts is a loser. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, one of them? Lies, all of it, lies. I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. Hey, this wasn't entered in evidence. <laughs> He's flying by the seat of his pants here. <laughs> 
According to this, she was in Paris the day before she died. Until the day before she died. Oh, whoops. The victim apparently okay, so arrived that's... home from Paris on 7.30 the day before the murder. Hmm, indeed. She almost made it through July. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way! <laughs> the victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several <laughs> sugar daddies. She's what the courtroom would like to recognize as a thought. <laughs> daddies? Sugar? Yes. Older men who, g <laughs> who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude! We can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Putz, what do you think of her now? I right. Like me now. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Sometimes it tries to escape his face through his eyeball. <laughs> Should I... Objection! Stop him from answering. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> His desk is hard as shit. <laughs> my, my client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. Thought she was blind. That question is irrelevant to this case. Smell my finger. Does this smell like cedar wood or oak? Oh. <laughs> Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? That cheating she dog. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Do they have an all male jury? <laughs> Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I actually didn't look at the jury. I believe the accused's motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. He wants to steal your glasses. <laughs> oh boy, this is not. This is so not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Gulp. <laughs> well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did and maybe I didn't. Oh, he went. What do I do? Uh... I don't know if there's well, any stopping him, honestly. We tried well, to stop like he, him before, I mean, he just... Just blurted it out? Yeah. He should answer, honestly. I think, right? Uh, well, is this the American justice system? Because probably <laughs> not. <laughs> yeah, wait, yeah, stop him from answering. This is America. We don't train our lawyers, and... I'll send him a signal. <laughs> like, I just, oh, lie like, lie like a dog is going to say, I'm going to turn around and, and moon him with my bare ass. <laughs> That's the signal for shut the fuck up. Well, it probably would stop the trial. Um, well, see, it's like this. I don't remember. You don't remember? Well, then, we'll just have to remind you. I got a bad feeling about this. We have a witness that can prove he did go to the victim's apartment that day. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Hey, look, they're all dudes. <laughs> There's ten dudes. Order! Order in the court! Uh, he's turning less and less into the sage voice, sorry. Order <laughs> in the court! Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Ronald McDonald. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. I heard there was ketchup here. This is bad! <laughs> On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank... So we. Wait, is his last it? name seriously Saw It? Saw <laughs> Frank Saw It. Oh my god. Please bring Mr. Frank <laughs> Saw It to the stand. Objection! No one buys newspapers. 
Oh, here's a character. Mister saw it. Do you sell news or you sell newspaper subscriptions? Is this correct? <laughs> oh, oh yes, newspapers, yes. I love the I love the choice. Mister saw it. You may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. <laughs> Witness test. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> oh, we I like oh, that it flashed. Oh, like the go through it. Okay. Testimony flashes up in the corner like it's a VHS recording or something. Oh yeah, like he's he's reading it to a camera. Yeah. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there. A woman, a chicken not dipper. moving, dead in ketchup. <laughs> I quailed. I turned into a small bird in fright and found myself unable <laughs> to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 o'clock p.m. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Uh-oh. He fingered us. Mmm. I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Oh, I'm just losing so much liquid. <laughs> Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Saw it used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. I fucking love perusing! <laughs> Electricity in Mrs. Stone's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes, uh, er, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Did you bring your Wait. magnifying glass? Because <laughs> you can totally get up up close, find the pores on his face and weird shit like that. Cross-examination, <laughs> Your Honor. Are you high? All right, right. This is it. The real deal. Make sure you press tab to examine the court record often. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why, you exposed the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? Wh what He was lying? <laughs> Who? Have I never <laughs> done any kind of study? <laughs> Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really... guilty? <gasps> How do I prove he's not? <laughs> It no one gave me any to... hints about what to do! <laughs> he didn't go to school for any of this. It's the Cracker Jack box. I thought I would just go to court, and then the judge would be like, Is he guilty? And I'd say no, and they'd be like, Well, too bad. <laughs> and then they'd send him to jail, and I'd get money! <laughs> you hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First... Find the contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence... Choke them with it. <laughs> present it and rub it in the witness's face. <laughs> Literally! Get up close. I really like the, uh, the, the noise, the sound effect they chose for, like, the text appearing. It's very satisfying to listen to. It is. It's, like, it's not, like, too intrusive or anything like that. Um... I like that she says rub it in the witness's face, like, nye, 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 nye. <laughs> we found out you're lying. <laughs> Sing childish <laughs> songs as well. Yeah. 
Well, that's what I intended. It helps. The judge likes it. it. Makes him laugh. All right. So, time of death was between five, four, and five p.m. And the electricity is out from noon to six. So that that matches up. Okay. Um. Why is my badge evidence? <laughs> Just in case they're like, are you sure you're an attorney? <laughs> and I'm like, you show them. am I sure? No, but this button says so. Uh, I'm sure the electricity being out is going to be key here. Well, but, yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, all right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's so, see if we can poke a hole. So from noon to six p.m., four to five would be inclusive of that. Yeah. So she was killed while the electricity was out. Yeah. Per the evidence. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, okay. Open the court record with tab, and point out contradictions in the testimony. I didn't... Tab? Like the soft drink? Yeah. I don't, trust, I don't trust anyone <laughs> who sells me newspapers. So I was going door-to-door -door selling subscriptions. Okay. That seems fine. Yeah. Left the door. I left open. the door. Have... Okay. Uh. A woman not moving. Dead. How did he know she was dead? That could be part of it. I quailed in fright. Maybe. He's not unable to go inside. Okay. Oh, if he went inside. Or if he couldn't go inside, how did he know that the power was out? I thought to call the police, or the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Hold it! Yeah, how did you... If you didn't go inside? The phone in her apartment wasn't working. Yes, I, I mean, no, no, it wasn't, right. But you said you didn't go into the apartment. Or did you? Oh, oh that, I could explain that. Well, there was a cordless <laughs> phone on a shelf in the entranceway. I reached inside and tried using that to call. And that phone wasn't working, correct? What happened next? I put on my robe and wizard hat. <laughs> I went, went to, to a, a nearby, nearby park and found a public phone. Okay. The time of death was between 4 and 5 p.m. Per the autopsy, I yeah. believe, right? Yeah, so what did he wait? Almost a full day? So that's gotta be wrong. Hold it! 1 p.m. Are you certain? Yes, absolutely! As sure as I am about the hole in my head. <laughs> hmm, he seems really confident. It could be the brain damage. 1 p.m. Right. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Didn't I already call that out? <laughs> Present some evidence to contradict him. Oh. Oh, it was, it was in the story. To, okay. I think it's saying that we need to... Yeah, like, Cindy's actually, autopsy report. Yeah. Gotcha. Present. Objection! Objection! You found the body at 1 p.m.? You're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. <laughs> for certain. Frankly, I don't give a shit. I find that hard <laughs> to believe. If I slap this piece of paper enough times, you'll see that it contradicts your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. Psh, 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 psh. This guy's. So, like, I know this is the first case, and it's probably why it's so obvious uh, what the contradiction is. But, like, if this guy did the murder, shouldn't he know around what time he did a murder? Yeah, probably. Like, he's just a terrible liar. Well, anyway. he, he's made bad choices if he's selling newspapers door to door. <laughs> the, uh... maybe, it's, maybe it's a really lucrative business in the Phoenix Wright world. Oh, that's true. That's possible. 
The autopsy notes the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. There was nobody to... er... no, body to find at 1 o'clock p.m. Uh... Nick, you cheeky son of a bitch. Order! Order! No jokes! <laughs> How do you explain this three-hour gap? <laughs> nanny nanny poo poo. Ugh. <laughs> oh, oh, that. Oh. Uh. I bet <laughs> oh, you're wondering what I'm hiding in my hands. It's a small quail. This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. Why is everyone sweating oh, so oh, much in this oh, courtroom? Oh. Do I need to turn the thermostat now? After his testimony, <laughs> I find that hard to believe. It's very humid in this room now. I'm also, <laughs> I'm also keeping a quail in my beard. Behind the <laughs> Cheetos. <laughs> Mr. Sawit. Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 o'clock p.m.? I, uh, well, I, gee, that's a really good question. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. <laughs> Point out contradictions. <laughs> when you get home, you can have a treat. <laughs> Lies always beget more lies. She does kind of look like she's wearing like a... A corset? Corset, yeah. Lies always beget more lies. See through one and their whole story falls apart. <laughs> It'll collapse like a house of cards. Check me. <laughs> Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? I'll give you one do-over as a treat. <laughs> <laughs> the time of discovery. This is Kangaroo Court. Well, you <laughs> see, when I found the body, I heard the time. I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. <laughs> That's why I thought it was 1 o'clock p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. <laughs> uh, what? Did you say something? I was sleeping. Mm, I see. You heard a voice saying the time on a taped program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness again as a treat. <laughs> right. You know what to do. I've got this one. Great. I feel like we didn't need to go through her saying, <laughs> but okay. Anything to give me more lines, I guess. Yeah. Uh, uh, I found the body I heard at the time. Um, well, even if she had a taped video, he wouldn't have been able to hear it because the power was out, right? Yeah. Right. Um... Yeah, right there, I'd say it couldn't have been the right TV. There. Mm -hmm. Black and white. Objection! Hold it right there. Crap, scum. I have to go pee. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. Look at this fucking paper, it proves it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like the Metal Gear. <laughs> you couldn't oh. have heard a television. Or a video. What was that noise? Whose footprints are these? Ah! I will irk. <laughs> the defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawit? No, I I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. And dot dot dot. You must have been battery powered. Wait, I remember now. I'm gonna move faster. Mr. Sawit? <laughs> the court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. That, and you seem rather distraught. Shvetty. Oh! Did his... is his hair coming off? Yeah, I think it's a toupee. My, my apologies, Your Honor. It, uh, it must have been the shock of finding the body. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Sawit. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. 
Ooh, he gets a third chance. Yeah. As an extra, extra double secret treat. <laughs> Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. That's my last name, you know. <laughs> there was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Uh, he, he says with an exclamation point, but it sounds like a question mark. Yeah, <laughs> the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. N no. What? <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> that must <laughs> have been what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> you saw a clock? I guess that would explain it. Very well, <laughs> case closed. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix, Wright, here. Phoenix Wright doesn't get a double double extra secret treat. The defense Lock may cross that orange man up for the rest of his life. <laughs> his last name is Butts. He'll have a great time in jail. The defense <laughs> may cross examine the witness. Gladly. Someone get me the big cross. <laughs> Alright, so. Yeah, so keep going, I think. Right. So saying the murder weapon. Yeah? Right? Yeah. Uh, present. And then you hit him in the head with the murder weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Objection! It was this! And you just, like, toss it in his head. Ah! <laughs> Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was this statue of a man pooping out McNuggets. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? Ooh, I like the music. Oh, uh, that music is fucking great. Like, right off the bat. You with your objections and your evidence. Just who do you think you are? Like a lawyer? Do you have, like, a lawyer badge you could show me as proof or something? Oh, yeah. How do I show that? Present. <laughs> present. Objection! Present. I am a lawyer. <laughs> Just answer I'm a the big question, boy lawyer. Mr. Saw. It. <laughs> I grease my hair back four times in the morning, just like everyone else. <laughs> hey, I, I saw it there, okay? There's a clock. That's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it, and it <laughs> says the time out loud. The neck likes being a top and a bottom. <laughs> As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. I see. This is Kangaroo Court. So the murder <laughs> weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright. It appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with this testimony now? Uh... Okay. Well, if it's a clock and it runs on batteries, wouldn't the time have been correct? You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, that, but also, if, hang on. can we, also, can't we prove if When you was... tilt the neck, it says the time, so you wouldn't have seen the time. Oh, yeah, that, that's, that too. I think, I think we'll have to point this out in court next time on We Play the Game. Whoa! <laughs> We're gonna free the butts. Hashtag free the butts. Hashtag. There's a gaping hole in the butts. <laughs> <laughs>